You know, a couple of boys stay with the kid. Didn't expect to see you here, Mr. Thornton. Hello, McLeod. I said... My show, Jason. Hi, Thornton. There's a little question unanswered between us. Which one of us is best? That's right. I don't think we're going to find out the answer to that question. No? No. Your gun hand's no good. You just give me time to get on over this wagon, and we'll find out. Why should I give you any time? Call it professional courtesy. Don't even listen to him. Why should you give him time? Curiosity, Jason. All right, Bull. Get that one close to the McDonald boy. When you hit him, blow that bugle. But my better judgment tells me that I can't... to stay out of this. But this God. is one time I'm glad she didn't. I'm much obliged, Joey. I owed you something. Cole? <laughs> McLeod? You didn't give me any chance at all, did you? No, I didn't. You're too good to give a chance to. Yeah. Let a one-armed man take me. Hey, JP, look. Now that I don't need this thing, it's working pretty good. That's always the way, isn't it? Hey, Bull, what's going on out there? Town's fit to bust out. Be a big time tonight. Every son feels like hollering. How's your leg, Cole? Ask the doc. Oh, it's not too bad. You know, these wounds were made by buckshot, don't you? I thought they were. Who was using a shotgun? Well, there was a certain young man with uh, a... I was using a shotgun, Doc. You? I thought you were on their side. He was. I told you I was no good with a gun. The trouble is, Doc, Cole was in front of the gun. And the safe place is behind Mississippi when he shoots that thing. You too, Bill, huh? <laughs> I think I'll take a little walk. <laughs> See that gal? What gal? The one that thinks you look better without that hat. Huh. Why don't you tell her why you're wearing it? Uh, don't have to. I've already told her. She's mad in a wet hen. Says you let her make such a fool out of herself. Uh, a host of friends. <laughs> I have a host of friends. I'm sorry about that leg. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. Mr. Thornton, that'll be a little sore for a few days, but it'll be all right. Yeah. I hope you have time to let me fix your back. Well, just as soon as his leg heals, Doc. I'll be ready. Hey, Cole? Where's Marty? I was wondering about that, too. I left her down the street just before this ruckus started. Oh, she'll probably be around pretty soon. Well, I wouldn't count on that too much. Mm -hmm. I just talked to her down to her place. Well? Well, if you was running for president, I figure you wouldn't get her vote. Well, what did I do? Well, she said she was plumb through waiting on a man while she'd run around being a target for anybody that had a notion to shoot a gun. Says she just couldn't take it no more. She said that? Yeah, she said that, and she had a few frills and dressing. The main idea was the door was closed. Well. 
Well, cool, what are you gonna do? What can I do? Can't argue with a closed door. Glad to hear you say that. Better just drop the whole thing. Well, what can I do? Some other fool will go down there and try to talk her out of it. You get in a lot of trouble with women like that. You remember what happened to me? You're trying to say that I'm in the same mess you were? Why, no, I didn't say that, Cole. Well, you think I'm gonna make a fool out of myself like you did? Cole, you told me yourself. You cannot stand to be tied down in one place. How do you know I haven't had enough of running around selling my gun arm all over the place? You said yourself sitting right here on this desk. Don't put words in my mouth. I'm not putting words in your mouth. And if I'm gonna have somebody tell me about women, it isn't gonna be you. Where is Morty? Down to her place. That's my crush. Oh, where's the other one? Right over there. It's right under your nose. I can't make up my own mind. You got it under the wrong arm, Cole. Well, how would you know? You've been using it first under one arm and then the other. Fine friend. Trying to keep a fella from doing what he wants to do. <laughs> I reckon the way to get him to do something is to tell him not to do it. And not if he didn't want to do it in the first place. You reckon he'll stay here? Yeah, it could be. Be a good thing to have him here. Because you'll likely wait a bit, find a new gal, make a fool of yourself all over again. Most likely. If you leave me, Bull, I could be driven to it. Well, I ain't said I was going to leave you. You as much as said it. Now, stop putting words in my mouth. I just can't do anything right according to you. Bull, I need you. You what? I need you, Bull. Well, now, if you start being nice to me, I'll quit you for sure. Shock would be too much. I'd as sooner have you hung over and nasty. Speaking of that, how about a little drink, Bull? Gone. It took you a long time to think of that one. That was good work, Sheriff. Thank you, Fred. Sheriff, it looks like you're going to keep your job. Yeah, it'll be a nice, quiet town after you leave, Cole. How do you know I'm leaving? Well, we just don't need your kind around here. 